Hello everybody. Today I'm going to show you how to automatically log in into multiple devices with uh, Telnet or SSH by using uh, Secure CRT. Um, we will use a uh, virtual basic script for that. And first of all, I have to thank Brian McGann from Internet Network Expert. He just sent me the code, um, the source code for the script this morning. Thanks, Brian. And um, now, first of all, I'm going to show you the uh, the challenge we have. Um, I need to log in to um, about 10 devices. I just purchased um, Reg Rental from uh, gradedlabs.com or respectively INE.com. Here's the INE site and INE just uses uh, regs from gradedlabs.com. That's the uh, page here. They sell CCAE rec rentals. And um, as I said, I need to uh, connect to multiple devices with Telnet. And the challenge here is that um, every single login I have to do or I have to make is um, uses a separate username. And this is kind of time consuming. And this is really getting on my nerves. Let me, let me show you my problem. Um, first of all, let's start secure CRT and um, then do a quick connect with Telnet protocol to rex.ine.com. No, connect. I'll get a username prompt and um, here are my login credentials. So um, as you can see here, the login name is RS for routing switching rec15. And um, this is the uh, access for the uh, for the console server. Um, let me let me just show you that. So I just use RS Rack fifteen. Um, enter the password. This one here. Paste it. And right now, I should yeah. Okay, I'm connected to um, the access server of, of, of Rack 15. Um, problem here is I can jump to each one of those devices by hitting R1 and R2, R3, R4, but I just have one single Telnet session. So I have to jump between the devices with the Control Shift 6, uh, Control Shift 6 X. And um, the problem here is that I just, I just have one tab and I just can't look at all the devices at the same time. And this is what's getting on my nerves. Um, what I got to say, they have uh, implemented a, um, a nice feature that you can jump directly to each one of the devices. Let me exit out here, disconnect. And let's say quick connect, rex.ine.com. Um, you can change the username. You can say rsrec15 and add the uh, device name. So here, r1. Enter, paste the password, and I'm logged on to router one. So I can. The prompt here, you don't don't mind it. It's rec twenty r one, because um, my config files are based on a, a further session that I did, um, and I did this session on rec twenty. So don't mind. Um, I can open up a second Telnet window, a second tab here. RS rec 15 router 2 again same password and I'm connected to router 2 and that's that's what I want yeah um, and so now we are going to automate this log on because as you can see I got to tell it into every single device it's exactly 10 devices and the tabs here are named rex.any.com 6 7 8 9 and 10 and so on and I gotta rename them because when switching through the uh, through the tabs, I just want to know which machine I'm clicking on. So I just have to rename them R1, then R2, and so on. And this is really uh, that sucks. So what we are going to do now is we will start secure CRT with some parameters and. Um, to do this, we can, let me just throw this away. To do this, we can kind of abuse GNSS3 for that. 
I think every one of you, or at least the most of you, will have used GNS3 before. So let's start GNS3. Yeah, cancel this. And um, within the preferences of the program, you can see the terminal settings here. And um, in my case, when I'm going to telnet or console, better said, to a router, it will use putty. Um, with the parameter dash telnet and host here and port number. So you can choose from the drop down menu um, the security CRT appliance. So just click on this, hit use, and there you can see a um, prompt or let's say a string where um, you can see the start par parameters for um, secure CRT. But I have to um, to warn you, because um, as you can see here in the string, it says C C uh, C dash programs, and as you can, uh, there is something missing in here. So if if we would use that, then it wouldn't succeed. Um, we just copy this this text out of here, and we can close GNS three. Then um, let's. Create a new text file that is called, let's say, um, yeah, secure, uh, secure CRT startup dot text. Here it is. Just paste it into here. And first of all, we will going to modify that a little bit. Here we can see there's the error. Um, Secured CRT is from Van Dijk software and the V is missing in here and the backslash. So let's put this into here. Backslash Van Dijk, secure CRT, secure CRT dot exe. So this string will say that um, start the program secure CRT together with the script that is called securecrt.bbs. And this script we are going to create for our purposes today. Um, I will give you further information about those uh, arguments here right a little bit later. Um, first of all, let's just try to start this. Um, we hit save. Uh, my, my GUI is in German, so I'm from Germany, so don't mind. We will change the text file into a dot in a batch file and just start the batch file. Secure CRT starts up and of course um, it is unable to open a serial port because we didn't modify any arguments here. Um, but as you can see, Secure CRT starts up fine. And um, what we are going to do now is we just have a look into the Visual Basic script here that is um, that is started. So let's go to C programs GNS3. Let's just navigate to that. So programs GNS3 secure CRT dot VBS. There it is. Let's have a look into that. And as you can see, there is not really much information. And um, here the um, source code of Brian comes into play. I just will paste that here. Oh, where do I got it? I know that's the wrong text file. 